Hi, this is Mark Cook for Kit Plains Magazine. In the summer of 2009, I took my Glassstar Sportsman down, installed some new avionics, including some of the most high-tech equipment that you're going to find in the Grand Rapids Synthetic Vision Horizon HX. It's a pretty cool instrument. I'd like to take you on a little video tour, see what it's like to, uh, to fly behind this instrument. Uh, one of the benefits of the, uh, the particular program is it gives you a, uh, an option of recording a log file. So what we're going to do, set up the camera inside the airplane, play back the log file for you. We're not going to do this actually in flight. You get to see what the screen looks like as you're navigating airspace and shooting an actual approach. Let's take a look. The Grand Rapids display uses traditional EFIS symbology. We have the altitude tape on the right, the airspeed tape on the left, heading tape across the top, and various other info boxes arrayed along the bottom. The number 1921 under the flight path markers actually are height above the touchdown zone for the synthetic approach. This is what it looks like without the synthetic vision invoked. Still a nice display, but obviously it uh, lacks a little bit of the, the eye candy of the synthetic. Here we're back to a split screen display with the moving map on the right and the attitude indicator on the left. One of the other options is to hook up a traditional HSI on the right hand side, which we'll see here in a second. It has a, a declutter feature, which will help you take down all of the uh, uh, intersections that are part of the approach here. As we continue down the approach to Torrance's runway 29 right, you can see the magenta highway in the sky boxes just up there on the horizon. We're level at 2,000 feet and we're making our turn toward the final approach fix. As you can see, the uh, ILS lateral marker is full scale right. We've moved along the approach just a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the highway and the sky markers are still just a little bit and above to our right. Uh, and the ILS lateral, the localizer signal, is just starting to come in. At this point, you can see from the uh, blinking blue blocks that uh, the autopilot has now connected up to the uh, localizer and is about to steer the airplane uh, down to the localizer final path. At this point, we're about six miles from the airport, as you can see. And that's what it looks like from the outside. Obviously, the, uh, with the smog in LA, you don't see a whole lot of the, uh, uh, of the actual terrain, although it is nicely painted on the synthetic vision. At this point, we had a lot of wind out of the, uh, out of the northeast, so the airplane was a little bit laggardly getting down the uh, localizer approach. You can see we've overshot just a little bit. Uh, the airplane is now coming around on the autopilot to correct. Another artifact of this particular approach is we're having a problem with the glide slope indication. It's popping in and out. Had it been a steady indication, we would have seen the GS arm in the upper right-hand corner turn into a block where it had uh, captured the glide slope. The Grand Rapids HX allows you to actually do a fully coupled approach with the proper autopilot. Now in the center of the display, we're starting to see the runways come into view. They're actually aligned just as they are in the real world, as you can see from this particular shot. It's a little hazy today, but uh, you know it's typical for Southern California. Back inside the cockpit, we can see we're just above the glide slope, and we're uh, making our way down and to the right into the highway in the sky boxes. The flight path marker is red because it's off scale a little bit. We have a fair amount of wind out of the uh, northeast now. You'll see it change as we get a little closer to, uh, to the runway. The, uh, the number there, of course, uh, 1,500 or so, is the, our height above touchdown. That will, of course, uh, uh, decline as we get a little closer to the runway. At this point, the uh, HX is fully coupled to the approach, and it is driving the autopilot down. Uh, because of the earlier problems with the uh, glide slope arm, I'm actually hand flying at this point, which explains why it's kind of sloppy. Well, there we go. After a little bit of effort, we've got the flight path marker going down the middle of the highway in the sky boxes. And as soon as we put the flight path marker on the end of the runway, we're going to be uh, coming down final. As you can see, the, uh, the runway is in a lot better alignment at this point. There's no question that having the flight path marker in front of you makes you a little bit more accurate. The trick, of course, is to look outside every once in a while, but when it comes to figuring out wind correction angles and things like that, this works nicely. Now, if you look, you'll see the flight path marker did a little blip up. That's actually me putting the flaps down. The sportsman has a natural slight pitch up tendency when you do that but then it eventually does settle in and we're descending and uh, decelerating a little bit as we come down short final. The picture you get, including the horizon and the synthetic vision and all of the terrain is, is really, really helpful, particularly if it's an area where you don't know where, uh, where the, the terrain is. As we continue to descend, you can see our airspeed is on, our altitude is descending nicely, and we're just about to look outside and see, hey, how about that, it's a runway. The Grand Rapids HX also has an obstruction database. We're going to see a warning about an obstacle right there. I have no idea what it is in the database. It happens every time I land on this runway and I haven't managed to hit it yet. 
So now the end of our flight is near. We're just about to flare for the landing. The uh, synthetic runway is right where the real runway is, which is kind of the promise of synthetic vision in the, in the beginning. So that's been what it's like to fly with the Grand Rapids HX. Hope you enjoyed it.